gamers and gamets, and also um fellow people watching YouTube. Um, got a really interesting video topic I want to talk about today that is really off from what I normally discuss, and um, there's a big reason I'm doing that. But before you do, before I discuss this topic, if you've already read the um the topic for this video, then we need to get somewhere that's nice and chill, something like like this, or even I don't know. Let me show off a bit here. Something besides that. Um, we need to get somewhere chill, something somewhere relaxing. How about this? No, nah, that doesn't look relaxing. Looks like you're about to get executed in there. Here we go. Somewhere nice and freaking chill. It, this this is perfect. This is perfect. Cause I'm the freaking I'm the man. All right. This dude doesn't look chill at all. Looks tense and shit. There you go. Sit back, son. Relax. Relax yourself. But um, what I want to talk to talk to you guys today about is I'm um, thinking that you know it could be somewhat common in gamers, at least from what I've seen on the internet. I tried to do I tried to do some research before I made this video, but most of this is just prediction a little bit uh, internet you know shine some light on this prediction I'm making a little bit but not really um, so what I'm here to talk about is how to deal with anxiety and the reason I want to um, give advice and give tips out for that is because I'm a person that deals with it you know and you, like I tell you guys all the time I'm not keen with talking about my personal life on the videos and stuff at all I know if you look at my Twitter that probably I probably sound really hypocritical saying that because sometimes I you know I'm human you know sometimes I'll have a freaking uh, a, a vent on Twitter here and there but whatever but um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I do because I mean and I'm not talking you know just anxiety you know where you freaking you know something happens and you're worked up oh my god I'm talking full-fledged on anxiety I'm talking you no know, doctors prescribing your medication you need to relax your blood pressure gets high every now and then freaking anxiety you know because I'm um, in so many words that's me and I'm gonna tell you guys how how I deal with it um, what helped me say screw you to the medicine the best thing to do to avoid the medicine is not take it in the first place because they can become addictive over time and everything and you guys know that with narc narc type medicines it's freaking obvious I don't have to preach that kind of thing to you but um I'm gonna tell you guys what what I do and this is a really really simple um cure it, it, it actually it, it makes you laugh and I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because I'm actually thinking about it right now because I'm getting ready to tell you guys about it but um okay so first off if you know anything about anxiety it's in your head so whatever's bothering you whatever you're upset about rule number one this is the number one thing you know once you drill this into your brain you're pretty much cured it's not real whatever you know is working up bro it's a mind over matter thing it's not real even even if the situation happened in the past it's not here in front of your face right now like uh, you know, if you if you saw Casper the ghost three months ago and he makes you anxious, guess what? He he was there three months ago. He's not there right now. You are fine. You are sitting there doing whatever you're doing and stuff like that. So that's the that's the main thing you need to drill in your head. It's not real. Number two, this is the big tip that I use. Okay, this has been helping me for probably I'm gonna say roughly almost a year now. And these two guys, they never even knew this, <laughs> that I used them for this. And this is why I'm making this video, because this is my way of confessing that to them, honestly. Uh, even though this video is weird, so they might not even watch it. So I might even have to tell them it's in there. All right. So you guys have that friend, right? That, um, you ever done something stupid and you have that one really smart, you have, you know, you got your dumb, silly friends that you do things with, but you have that one really smart friend. It always tries to steer you away from dumb decisions. You, you know who I'm talking about. That one guy who, like, when you do, do something dumb, he's like, ah, oh, really? You know, if you're, or you're short, every time you're short a few bucks, you know, he sticks something in your pocket and says, oh, come on, one day you'll learn to budget, pal. 
just hands it over to you because you know he's just he's so set he doesn't even care about about helping you he just cares about you that much well i have um i have a couple friends like that mainly two and those two guys are um artful vengeance and cast 1187 they've um I've known them since high school. They have given me, you know, some of the some of the most helpful advice. You know, they've just done a lot for me in in my lifetime. And there's there's honestly no way in the world to express the, um, the gratitude, you know, that that um, they deserve or I owe them for anything. But um, and I mean, and I mean, I'm looking at that from a standpoint, you know, regardless of um, me and Artful's little thing. Cause I don't know if any if anyone ever paid attention or not, but even even though know, back when we, we were you know against each other, you know we were bashing each other on YouTube, which was petty. And once again, I do apologize for that. Um, I don't know if anyone ever noticed in the video I made, dear Arful, I did say that you know I owe this guy a lot of um a lot of debt physically and emotionally. That's 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 what I was referring to. But um anyway, off that topic. But um, these are those two guys, and you know every and every time I do something dumb, right? And this is the thing I love about these two unique guys. They're gonna find it weird that I love this feature about them, but it it's saving me right now, so I love it. Every time I do something dumb around either of them, they have this unique straight face or look that they give me. It's, it, it depends on how stupid it is or something that I do, but, you know, it could be anything. It could be something, you know, revolving a relationship, you know, like, um, talking to a, talking to a girl that they don't agree with, you know, any, anything, anything crazy, anything, anything stupid, but, um, they have this unique straight face that just cracks me up. Like you ever, you know, seeing somebody, you know, look at you so seriously, that you can't help but die laughing because of how serious their face is. Their faces are like that times a thousand when they give me this look. And it is the most hilarious thing in the world. So what I do is, right, whenever I'm having an anxiety attack, I will sit here and I will or stand wherever I'm at and picture one of them giving me that look and just looking at me like, really? What the f is wrong with you? I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna curse in this video because, um, just because, you know, just because the audience is gonna, it, it could possibly have, you know, I, nobody wants to hear the F-bomb, the B-bomb, and, and stuff like that, so, you know, I'm just gonna blank stuff out, but, you know, that's, that's how, you know, we're younger guys, that's how we talk. But I just picture them giving me that look, like, you F and P, or B, or, you know, or whatever, like, stop, stop being a... A chump or you know something like that. I just picture them looking at me like that and not only the <laughs> I can't even hold the laughter in right now as I'm making the video not only does it um does it uh, help me um get over the anxiety but it actually makes me crack up laughing for hours and I'll do it sometimes when I'm talking to them and I'll just randomly start bursting out laughing and they have no idea why <laughs> and that's it but um, it's a it's a big thing. It helps me. Now there's there's all kinds of other stuff you can do. Like for one, us gamers, believe it or not, guys, if you game and you have anxiety, um, the best thing to do, honestly, besides um, besides you know what you currently do is get more into your game. Um, and I'm dead serious because you know if you're playing it and you know you're having an anxiety attack, you're not fully focused on what you should be. If you're doing a if you're recording a video. And you're not, and you're having an anxiety attack. You're not as focused on that video or what you're doing as you should be. And I've I've learned that because that's why some of my videos come out come out crazy. You know, that's why a lot of my ideas spring around. That's why you know, in a lot of my videos, I'll sound lifeless because I'm focusing on you know what's wrong with me, mind you, which is nothing. It's just something that's in my head instead of you know what I'm doing. You know, YouTube equals um. For me, dream career, getting paid for what you love to do versus thing in my head that's not even real. So I'm just like, so you, you just ask yourself, which one of those is more important to you? Are you worried about, you know, the thing that you're trying to accomplish right now or that thing that bothers you in your mind that really doesn't exist?
decide which one's more important to you and just act on it. Now, this ain't this ain't a day's a day's process. But you know, this watching this video could be the start of, you know, helping you feel better and you know, maybe giving you a tip that I do. But like I said, it's um if you're my point is if you're doing something you enjoy, whether it's you know working out, playing video games, watching TV, whatever, if you and if you're doing something you enjoy and you're still having an anxiety attack in the process of doing it, you're not focused on what you want enough. And you need to focus on it a little bit harder. And you know, there's there's a the spring of um of happy thoughts you can think of too. Like I think about um my girlfriend, kids, you know, all kinds of all kinds of, you know, stuff like that there's um there's all kinds of things you know you can you can think of but i just had to bring up their um those main two examples <laughs> and it is so hard to do this video because i am thinking about i am thinking about it right now i'm not thinking about it because i'm having anxiety right now i'm thinking about it because you know i'm making this video for you guys <laughs> and i can't deal i can't freaking deal mm. so i'm um, artful and cast if you guys decide to watch this one for some odd reason, thank you so much. But um, yeah, guys, I hope I hope that's a little bit of tips. Um, I hope that helps you guys, helps anyone out a little bit who's dealing with that kind of si scenario or situation. It's your boy, I'm Mike Hero One Two Seven, and um, you know, if anyone if anyone else deals with it, you know, feel free to comment on the video. Um, I'm not a huge YouTuber or anything. My videos don't get out there like that, but I'm. The one thing about me is I've always and I've always made this promise, you know, since I started doing YouTube. I don't care how big I get. I don't care. I don't care if I get more subscribers than PewDiePie. I will interact with every single person that I can. That means every YouTube comment, every tweet I receive, every Instagram comment. I don't care what website it is. When you comment, I will I will do everything in my power to get back to you. I want to interact with everybody because that's one thing I see that a lot of big YouTubers don't do. So, you know, just um comment, private message me, whatever. If you um if you know if you're dealing with a situation like that or if you even have some thoughts on the video or anything of that nature. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. It's your boy Mike Hero 127. Peace guys.